Hi guys, I'm Tom, this is The Bunker, and I'm a filthy Votan power gamer. Yeah. Hey, so if you haven't seen part one, check that out now. I'm starting Votan in 2023, but I'm starting them because I actually genuinely love the models. Um, I know they're filthy. Um, myself and Ben played against Votan the other day, and it was something to behold, it really was. Eat guy strike missile, 10 damage. I'm gonna say no to that, because I have an ability that just blanks that damage completely. But at the end of the day, that's what they do, um, and I'm determined to play with them and show people that they don't have to be uber broken filth, but I guess that might be impossible. I don't know, we'll see. It's a journey, it's a journey for all of us. Today, um, I'm gonna build up a thousand point army because we're taking part in a doubles game um, so I'm going to show you my Axe of Roman list, and then we'll get building and have a look at the models. Okay, so let's have a look at what I have taken. So obviously I'm using an Axe of Omen detachment, and I've taken Heavy Support as my three compulsories. Um, it's just a, a small model count army. Um, let's have a look. So, we have the Great Aetherian League. Now the reason I've taken that is because they actually count, if you've got a grudge token, you count as having one more. Um, and if you get to that sweet three gross token thing, you're doing some serious damage just on force to hit. Um, the backbone of my force really is a Brocker Forge Master. Um, and he's my Warlord. And he has the Warlord trait that allows him to negate damage on a vehicle or an exo frame once per turn within his range. And also there's a Cowl there, um, Volcat Disintegrator in the Globe, which basically just means he's uh, a standard reroll ones and so on and so forth. Two in his bikes. Uh, I've gone for the comms array to ignore dense cover and the rotary cannon with a pan spectral scanner. Uh, so the comms array allows them to always be within the cowl's bubble of boosting if they're within 24. Um, and they get a 12-inch pre-game move, which is always cool. And then the real meat of the army. So two units of Brocker Thunder King with bolt cannons. It's nine shots each. <laughs> and I'm actually relying on the uh, the, root, the the grudges to give me the auto hits. And then the land fortress with the magna rail. Let's get some building done. it so we are all built ready for my little thousand points so this is the uh, the list that i'll be taking to pair up with my mate ben our local club um i'm gonna get it all sprayed up guys um but tonight i'm actually getting a couple of practice games in so i'm not gonna be battle reporting them because I still need to learn the codex and stuff like that but i'll put some photos on next and uh, yeah see how they perform on their first outing and then sort of general thoughts about the list and so on and so forth. Woodsy, what's it like playing against Votan? <laughs> oh, amazing! <laughs> <laughs> Two armages from one vehicle. 
And there we go. Um, yeah, interesting list. Um, the bikes, I lost them pretty early on just through misplay, really. So I think I'm going to have to think about what they can do. They're not invincible. <laughs> um, but that land fortress is just unbelievable. He killed basically almost all of Woods' knights by itself. Um, yeah, very, very interesting army. Very strong, very sort of combo-y, mechanic -y combos, which is cool. But all in all, I really enjoyed playing them. And I think everyone else enjoyed playing them. We were laughing and joking and, you know, the filthy Fortana here. <laughs> But anyway, so next time, join me and I'll be painting up some of my units in my 1500 point army list, which is for an upcoming league. So thanks for watching, guys. As always, stay safe, stay well, do subscribe for more, and happy hobbying.